Hi y'all, it's Gatorbond BC here, and I wanted to show you my stockpile that I've been working on. I, uh, if you watch my video at the beginning of the year, I made a New Year's resolution tag video and said that one of my New Year's resolutions was to organize my house and to grow my stockpile. So this used to be my daughter's toy closet, and uh, we had a pretty good shot of what it looked like covered in toys. But um, we cleaned it out and we organized her toys. And at the time, I had hardly anything at all in my stockpile because I had given everything away for Christmas and at a couponing class that I teach. And uh, we had been pretty hard up. So I wasn't doing a lot of couponing. So all of this is pretty much January. I think the only thing that I started with were a few razors. I haven't bought any razors in January, so I started with some disposables down here. These were in my, my older stockpile from before. I had um, a few of the Gillette's disposables, and I have three of the Fusion Pro Glides. That's pretty much what I started my stockpile with at the beginning of this year. And, um, and then since then, I've added quite a few stuff. Now, I have to tell you, I've been broke, so this has not come out of my pocket. I did the CVS food run the other day and got pretty much all that up there for 42 cents. Um, you know, I did a Publix run towards the beginning of the month, and I broke up some transactions and did, I want to say it was $340 worth of food, and I spent about 60 70 maybe. And this is all the leftover. So I do have another food closet. This is just the overstock. What I do is, like here you can see there's three salsas. They were BOGO at Publix. Buy one, get one. So I bought four. Three of them go in this stockpile. Fourth one's in my cabinet. Uh, same thing here, except we've used, I think we pulled two of the, put two of the um, salad dressings. They were different flavors. We put them in the fridge and then left two here. You can see same thing with the A1. I buy four and buy one, get one. Get them close to nothing. I put three in the stockpile. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, I bought quite a few of these Idahoans. I think I ended up with like ten during that run. And I put five of them in here. I usually try to put half, you know, uh, or one and then put all the rest in. But, you know, like the, the soup, I think we got ten of these soup, maybe twelve of them. And this looks like six here, and they're different flavors. Same thing, I, we got probably close to the 20 of the Uncle Ben's a while back ago, and we've used some. Don't love the Uncle Ben's, much, much prefer the Zatarans, which we don't have, but we're going to get very soon. So, same thing up there, you can see I got the planners, did the goldfish, they were uh, three for five at Publix, at CVS the other day, and I got six or six or nine of them. Raisin Bran, we picked up quite a few boxes, Belvita the other day. Oreos, all of that at CVS. All of that for $0.42 cents at CVS, by the way. That was a really good deal. Um, mostly Publix here. We've done maybe two Publix runs. And then I did the meter. Uh, I had a coupon for $10 off. The meter was $10 with a $10 ECB, so that was a free meter that made me $10. These are pretty much money makers because I don't really have the time to do all this creative couponing right now, so I'm just getting whatever can give me overage so that I can buy the food. So the um, vitamins at Publix were overage at one point. I had $5 off coupons Publix, $5 off manufactured. For every like four or eight I bought, for every eight I bought, I made $10. So I had eight. I gave some to my daughter. Uh, same thing back there with the emergence. They gave me overage at Publix. The Tresemme, I had a ton of them. That was all I kept from my original stockpile. The Axe, I found on clearance after Christmas in a gift set. I think I spent a quarter for the whole gift set. So my fiancé took the rest. The Clear, from those clear coupons that came out of CVS for the free clear. I use those as fillers. The Irish Spring were at CVS this week with coupons. They were actually free. So that was all free. So this is all pretty much... I mean, i got to say, most of this up here has been free, or made me money. Um, the Aveeno, close to free, I'd say maybe 50 cents, but once you throw four off 20s at CVS, I was pretty much getting them free, spitting out ECBs. Uh, I did the speed stick deal this week again. Coupons from the Red Box, manufactured, made them free, and I think I made a couple cents overage on them. Uh, the great overage that I made this week, let's see if I can get it in the light, look at that. I know that looks like Nivea to you, hand cream. 
funny when I bought all this hand cream, the woman asked me, oh, you like that hand cream? And I thought, hmm, I've never actually tried it. So it didn't matter because for every two that I bought, I made four dollars. Let's see, there are a lot in there. We made $68 off these Nivea's the other day at CVS, and it was those $68 in ECBs that allowed me to get a lot of this food and stuff here for 42 cents. So, yay for Nivea. Anyone need Nivea, give me a holler. I've got it. I'm not much of a hand cream kind of girl. Uh, finish, again, we paid for these with coupons. Uh, that would have brought them down to $1.50, but with the Nivea overage, they were all free. Did the cash card deal on Pepsi and water quite a bit of times. This is only half. I have another water over in my kitchen, and I have another four or five of those Coca-Cola's, not Pepsi's, Coca-Cola's. So again, with the cash card deal, with the Nivea overage and everything else, I would say what I have in this stockpile right here, if I put out $10, I'm stretching it. So, and this is all from January, aside from the razors and that little tiny three tresemme right there. This is all January hauls. I think I had the Uncle Ben's rice before, but that was it. And I can tell you, I haven't put out more than $50 shopping this month. Uh, if that, you know, and it was mostly all at Publix for a lot of food that's not even up there. This is just the overage, the freebie stuff here. So there you go. There's my stockpile. I wanted to show you that you could grow a stockpile, that it wasn't that difficult. Well, it's difficult when you think of the time and money and not money, but the time and effort you put in couponing. But it's not difficult to grow your stockpile quickly and easily. And let me tell you, this has been a real help because when times get tough, like I said before, it's nice to be able to open a closet and go shopping right at home from your freebies than to have to spend that money at the store. And, you know, that's all over it's there. That's my, my stockpile closet. No one's allowed in there but me. So we'll see if they follow that rule, right? I put all the food that they are allowed to eat in my regular pantry. And so, you know, this is the other stuff, the stuff that we don't have extras on or you know there's the Uncle Ben's the other half of the Idahoans that's my regular closet there so the other closet's the stockpile it's pretty cool I'm pretty excited I'm hoping to grow it uh, you know January's about to end February's gonna come we're gonna get a little easier set on our finances after the holidays and I am going back to some heavy heavy couponing and you will watch the stockpile grow. I have a feeling I'm going to end up moving it into the garage, even though I said I wouldn't. Well, anyway, that's it. I am Gator Bond BC. I just wanted to give you a quick little preview. Thanks for all your encouragement. Oh, by the way, you know, I said I was going to need cardboard to cover this. I used old Christmas wrapping paper. How about that? Uh, not really Christmas, but that's what I used at Christmas. This was my wrapping paper. So threw it on there and it worked just fine underneath there nice and easy and free and not taking up space anymore that old wrapping paper so there you go uh, hopefully you're having a good month hopefully you're having a good week and keep up the couponing thanks for liking and subscribing and hope you all are having a great week take care adios